A strobilus is a structure uh, present on many land plant species consisting of sporangia bearing structures densely aggregated along a stem. Strobili are often called cones, but many botanists restrict the use of the term cone to the woody seed strobili of conifers. Strobili are characterized by a central axis surrounded by spirally arranged adecosate structures that may be modified leaves or modified stems. Leaves that bear sporangia are called sporophylls, while sporangia bearing stems are called sporangiophores. Lycophytes. Some members of both of the two modern classes of Lycopodiophyta produce strobili. In all cases, the lateral organs of the strobilus are microphylls bearing sporangia. In other lycophytes, ordinary foliage leaves can act as sporophylls, and there are no organized strobili. Dot 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 dot. Sphenophytes. The single extant genus of Equisetophyta equisetum, produces strobili in which the lateral organs of sporangiophores. Developmental evidence and comparison with fossil members of the group show that the sporangiophores are reduced stems, rather than leaves. Sporangia are terminal. Dot 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 dot. Seed plants. With the exception of flowering plants, seed plants produce ovules and pollen in different structures. Strobili bearing microsporangia are called microsporangiid strobilia pollen cones, and those bearing ovules are megasporangiid strobilia seed cones. Cycad cycadophyta are typically dioecious. The lateral organs of seed strobili are megasporophylls that bear two to several marginal ovules. Pollen strobili consist of microsporophylls, each of which may have dozens or hundreds of abaxial microsporangia. Ginkgos, the single living member of the ginkgo fitter, ginkgo biloba produces pollen strobili, but the ovules are typically born in pairs at the end of a stem, not in a strobilis. When there are more than a pair of ovules in a biloba, however, or when fossil taxa bearing large numbers of ovules are examined, it is clear that the paired ovules in the extant species are highly reduced strobilis. Conifers pollen strobili of pinophyta are similar to those of cycads and ginkgos in that they are composed of microsporophylls with microsporangia on the abaxial surface. Seed cones of many conifers are compound strobili. The central stem produces bracts and in the axil of each bract is a cone scale. Morphologically the cone scale is a reduced stem. Ovules are produced on the adaxial surface of the cone scales. Netophytes Netophyta consists of three genera, Ephedra, Netum and Wellwitchia. All three are typically dioecious, although some Ephedra species exhibit monoacy, in contrast to the conifers, which have simple pollen strobili and compound seed strobili. Netophytes have both compound pollen and seed strobili. The seed strobili of ephedra and netum are reduced, with ephedra producing only two ovules per strobilis and netum a single ovule. Dot 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 dot. Flowering plants The flower of flowering plants is sometimes referred to as a bisexual strobilis. Stamens include microsporangia within the anther, and ovules contain megasporangia. Magnolia has a particularly stroboloid flower with all parts arranged in a spiral, rather than as clear whorls. A number of flowering plants have inflorescences that resemble strobili, such as cat but are actually more complex in structure than strobili. Evolution of strobili. It is likely that strobili evolved independently in most if not all these groups. This evolutionary convergence is not unusual, since the form of a strobilis is one of the most compact that can be achieved in arranging lateral organs around a cylindric axis, and the consolidation of reproductive parts in a strobilis may optimize spore dispersal and nutrient partitioning. Etymology the word strobilis is related to the ancient Greek strobilos equals whirlwind. 